Hey guys, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate you. Now let's get to it. All right, average gamer signing back on with another video, man. Got Ian G Draft, ENC, excuse me, Draft League Week Three. Let me turn off my freaking phone. Anyway, got Week Three, man, and it was a stressful freaking week. I college just decided to kick my ass with a bunch of work, even over the weekend. And then right when I have time to start preparing for this week's matchup, I have a freaking power outage because we have a thunderstorm warning. Hope everyone in the area is staying safe, by the way. But anyway, um, yeah, this week, as you see here, Tarboro Tatsugiri is uh, my man right here, operated by Kane. Shout out Kane. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's one of the leaders of the whole draft league, kind of setting it up and stuff. So yeah, shout out to him. Thank for, well, I thank you for letting me be a part of it. There we go. Had to word that correctly. Yeah. Um. So I literally just made my team. <laughs> so I kind of is fresh on my mind at least, so I can talk about this. Um. Going into this, and by going into this, I mean like 15 minutes ago. Uh. This is definitely the worst matchup I've had thus far, but it's not terrible. It's more so a matter of me having to predict what he's going to bring. Obviously, screens from Grimstar really mess up a lot of my calcs, as you see here. Uh, Chiyu, his ace, if you will. Seven kills, <laughs> zero deaths. Uh, combined with Sun, this thing absolutely destroys everything in its way. Also has it for Slitherwing. Um, my Typlosion is a great option uh, for him not to just start spamming fire moves on me. So that was one thing I had going for me. Um, but because he has these two, and he's... Uh, what will want his main mode seems to be Sun, set up Sun, then spam Chiyu, either with like Specs or Scarfed or something like that. Uh, my Scizor and Bisharp are completely useless, and those are my two, well, one of my, two of my best Pokemon. I cannot talk today again. I'm in a frazzled state, I'm kind of rushing. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I think this matchup was close to even, maybe slight advantage to him, because once my Typlosion goes down, there's not much he can... Well, I can do to stop him from just spamming Chiyu on me. Also, this Gujo really hurts me because of how special bulky it is. And because I can't bring my two best Pokemon in Scizor and Bisharp, who are physical attackers, I'm going to have to maneuver around this guy as well. And although I mentioned screens and how powerful it is, one thing I also have going for me is I have a, vari a variety of ways to bring screens. To break screens, excuse me. So, yeah, that was kind of my thought process uh, going into this. Definitely close to even matchup. A lot of volatility in even matchups, so it may look uh, worse than it actually is when we start playing, but only time will tell with that one. So, um, oh, I guess I should go over my team, actually. So, this is the squad, man. Um, I think because this matchup was even, or maybe to his slight advantage, I had to play into the relative volatility of even matchups. Um, and as you see here... Oh, another thing before I even talk about this team. One thing that I... The reason I think that this may be a slight advantage for him is because between Jolteon, Grimmsnarl, Lilligant, and Gudra, and even Noivern, Tatsu... Uh, not, not Tatsu, uh... Really these four. I'm not going to include Noivern. Really these four. Uh, they, he type advantaged me to death. Like, he had... I, I'm weak to ice majorly, and uh, this thing, as Jolteon has Terra Ice, this thing has Ice Punch, this thing has Ice Spinner, this thing has Ice Beam. Um, so, I was kind of screwed in that regard, and there was not much I was capable of doing about it. Uh, well, it may have been, but I'm rushing, so nothing that came to mind quickly. So what I decided to do, this team is essentially meant to play into the volatility of the matchup in general, and also just how good he is against me type advantage-wise. So to start off, we got a Toast Rule. I definitely feared rocks from a potential Torcoil. So he's gonna be my main spinner. I actually went Assault Vest. I can take a Specs Chiyu Flamethrower that's not in Sun. Um, granted, if it's in Sun, I die to everything, right? But he may not risk going for like a Fire Blast, for instance, just in fear of missing. So I think just having that good benchmark is fine. This is actually a minus defense plus speed. Uh, toe scroll. This is meant so I max speed that I beat, excuse me, a max speed Gudra or Grim, which I felt like could have been options he could go for because of his type advantage on me. Um, 
Also, this is capable of letting pretty much anything Torpro does goes for, which is good. Um, it can take an Ice Beam from Gudra as well. I have a good chance to live like a Specs Terra Ice from Jolt at full health at least. Anything other than that, I die. But this is kind of just meant get rocks out if it if they do come, or maybe get some chip off, maybe knock off something. That's pretty much all this is there for. Um, next, uh, who do I want to talk about next? I guess we'll talk about Dragonite, just go down the columns, I suppose. Um, this is a weakness policy, Dragonite. Uh, again, playing into the volatility of the matchup. I'm not going to really be able to stop him from hitting me with an ice move or a rock move or whatever. Um, or a fairy move, so. I thought, multi-scale, I can take anything if I max out his HP and defense. Because, again, uh, I would say his ice punch from Grimstar and his ice spinner from Lilligan are the most worrying things. If he wants to use his Terra on the Jolteon with Ice, I can deal with it. it. I may lose a Pokemon, but I can deal with it. So I've prioritized the other two things. Uh, Adamant Nature, obviously. Multi-Skill, obviously. Dragon Call, Urpeg, Extreme Speed, Extreme Speed Brick Break. Um, essentially, I just want as much coverage as possible. Brick Break to, bring, to stop potential screens. Even with no boost from Weakness Policy, I can Oko Chiyu. I have a 50-50 shot of killing Gudra with Dragon Claw. I flat out Oko a potential Tatsu. Uh, I can kill uh, Jol Jolteon with an that's Ice Terra with Brick Break or Oko with uh, EQ as well. If he doesn't Terra, although that would be heavily prediction dependent. Um, the four speed investment. I just wanted to make sure I outsped uh, Gudra if it had no investment in it. Um, if he went for like a bulky Gudra set that didn't have much in. Uh, speed. I just want to make sure I didn't speed tie against it. That was pretty much all that for. And then at plus two, I mean, I can kind of just extreme speed, and then, and it goes like 60% to like everything. Uh, the one thing that I fear is like a potential like hustle Hasunia Lilligan, because I think that may Oko me with Ice Spinner. I'm not sure, but yeah. <laughs> uh, essentially, just use this to weaken things because in my mind, Typlosion is the end game similar to last week. Because if I can keep this thing, he can't spam Chiyu. Or at the very least, he needs to be careful when he does. But moving on, uh, again, standard Scarf on my Typlosion. I think this is a similar set to what I ran last week. It's a little bit different, I believe. This makes it faster than anything that's not also Scarfed, which is nice. Um, if he does Sun with Torcoil, it will boost my Eruptions and my Flamethrower, which is nice. Shadow Ball for things like uh, a potential Slowbro. Um, extra sensory for something like Slitherwing, Lilligant. Um, boom, I can hit Lilligant with Flamethrower, but you get what I mean. Um, essentially, I want just to make sure it has Flash Fire as well. If he sets up Sun and I rightfully predict a fire move, let's say he goes for like Will O Wisp on a Dragonite or something like that. If I come in and I get the Flash Fire in Sun, Terra Fire, Eruption's probably killing most of what he has. I think. That was kind of my thought process. So yeah. Um, and with this HP investment, I can switch into things if I'm really in a bind. Um, I can live, for example, Stone Edge or Earth Power from Torcoil. I can live, oh, I have an okay chance to live like a Draco Meteor from uh, Noivern. And I live pretty much everything from Gudra as well. Okay, moving on. Let's kind of this is okay so this is the pokemon that i really again played into the volatility of the matchup if i'm really in a tight spot i have a choice scarf Lusa with final gambit essentially i can get rid of anything um whatever is the biggest threat again like gudra being especially bulky as it is final gambit takes it out right i'm pretty sure this kills everything except for slowbro and Grim, and that's only if Slowbro and Grim have like match HP, right? Um, so yeah, my thoughts: Final Gambit, the Gudra, or just Final Gambit, the Chiyu, so I don't even have to worry about it. That was kind of my thoughts playing into the volatility of the matchup. I'm confident in these five being capable being capable of winning the game for me if I can get the major threat to these five out of the way. So, but of course, I probably won't use it on Lilligant or Grimmsnarl because I need them to hit me with a weakness. To activate my weakness policy. Speaking of weakness policy, I do have another weakness policy mon. Uh, and that's Thunderous. Um, again, I was very scared of Gudra. That was like my primary concern. Um, 
So I actually went physical for my Thunderous because I don't know if he's expecting that. And it's also a setup Thunderous, something I also don't know if he's fully expecting. Um, weakness Polity with Acrobatics and Thunder Punch. It's set up so it can live either Grim or Lily's Ice moves. Um, it also can live Gudra and also anything from Slither, which I thought was good. Um, one Agility, if I can get it off, makes it faster than pretty much everything except for Scarfers. Um, and then after the boost, I can Acro. Bulk Up allows me to live even more Ice moves if it's like a Grim Star or something like that, so... Yeah, I did is I could if he leaves with like Grim, for example, which I think is highly probable, I can I can get this. If he doesn't have taunt, I just immediately set up on it. Um that was kind of my thought. And lastly, we got Garganical. Uh I think Rocks is very good here. If the goal is to chip things down for a potential Typlosion endgame, Salt Cure, Brick Break for another screen breaker, uh, and Stealth Rock. If I get rid of the Torquoil or the Tops of Geary, uh, which is also his main spinner. Um, I should be able to keep rocks up. It'll do very nice damage to a lot of his mons, and it'll help out my Typlosion a lot. So, yeah, that's the team. Okay, I, who I'm almost out of breath. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, for tight on time, I think it works. I'm trying to play into the volatility of the matchup, playing into the fact that type advantage wise, he kind of screws me. But I think if I play well, I have a decent chance. So. I'm going to cut to the battle. See y'all there, man. All right, guys. We are good the map. We are ready to battle. <laughs> Sorry, there was a match before us that just went on like at the same time, so we waited. Anyway, all right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Grimstrong, Chiyu, Lilligant, Torcoil. Uh, expected. Gudra expected. He does opt to bring the slow bro. Let me see real quick. No Tatsugiri either. So he actually cannot Terra in this game. Which is very interesting. Okay. So I suspect that Torcoil will have spin. Maybe Will O Wisp. Uh, in terms of Vizula, I'm definitely looking at. at uh, Definitely looking at Gudra to be who we're beating here. Yeah. All right. Lead time. What are we thinking? I think Thunderous lead I stick to. I mean, I feel like he only opts for uh, Torkoil or Grimmsnarl. I can't imagine him going Gudra immediately. Or even Slowbro. Slowbro may be an option. Stover might be an option if he thinks I'm going to lead, like, uh, Garganical. Anyway, we're going to go with this. Okay, Grim. What I'm going to do... Do I give away the game early? Does he have Taunt? Yes or no? I'm going to see if he has Taunt. I'm going to see. I don't want to give up the game that I'm physical... So I'm going to agility first. I'm going to agility first. He does not have it. Spirit break, that's fine. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, he does opt for screens, which is fine. I don't really mind. Fine by me. Uh, Colin's talking about his game. Okay. Um, you know what? We are switching out here. I 
That's fine. Okay. Uh, it's probably Hustle Chlorophyll, which is unfortunate. I might lose here. That's okay. Oh, uh, why didn't get Salt Cured, I wonder? Maybe uh, Leaf Guard or something like that? Uh, who do I want to go with now? Uh, let's just get Chip on it. I do want to set up rocks, though. I die here. Oh, I. Ooh, I'm actually shocked I live that. Okay. Okay. Stalled out sun, which is nice. Um, I'm thinking it might be Hustle if he went for this. Um, I'm gonna. My multi skill is gonna break, which sucks. That's not good. Do I live a plus one ice spinner from this thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see. I don't think I will, but I do need, I do have to try to get rocks out. I don't, okay. That's nah, fine. Yeah, that's really, that really sucks. Yeah. Might be game. He could switch out Gujar here. Uh, I don't wanna, in case he goes to Chi, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, that's game. That sucks. It was what I feared. That really sucks. It's what I feared, man. Okay. Where did I... I should have uh, switched out immediately. After I uh, got the game away. Uh, that I was, uh, what's it called? Defensive. Anyway, yeah, I gotta talk again about the match. Uh, yeah, I wish I got a little bit more practice, but that's okay. Um, we'll bounce back next week, right? Uh, shout out Kane. Uh, I'm gonna get my rematch <laughs> soon, sooner or later. But anyway, GG's. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Average Gamer signing off. Next week we face the Winter Weaviles. I forget who operates this team, but yeah. Stay tuned for next week. See ya.